Okay guys, so first thing you want to do after you get all your bottles together, I just like to organize them by height, uh, just so you don't have to keep readjusting your bottle capper. And as soon as you can, get bottle caps on each bottle. Again, these have been in our sanitizing solution here, so cover up every one of these. This, of course, is just to keep uh, any contaminants from uh, falling into the bottle now that we're at the last stage right before we close them up. And again, typical yields, you know, it's about 50 to 55 12 ounce bottles uh, will be uh, out of a five gallon batch. Now, of course, you're going to lose some, you're going to lose a little bit of beer to having some sediment, you know, in the, in the base. Uh, you know, you don't want a beer with tons of yeast and uh, the proteins from the malt in there, so you're going to lose a little bit, but that's normal. Uh, so here we've got, what do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got about 18 beers out of that that are at least a half a liter. Some of them are 750s, which is the size of a bottle of wine. So I mean, some of these are pretty, pretty good sized beers. Uh, then we got, you know, a little bit over a dozen 12 uh, ounce beers. So a good mix. Uh, so now what we'll do is I'll just show you guys first up how we cap. Again, I recommend the countertop one. You don't have to hold with, with both hands. Uh, so first we have a kind of abnormal shaped 12 ounce here. So you just slide it down, this bell here, until it meets the cap, and make sure it locks down, and then just give it a quick squeeze, and there you go. That crown is all crimped up nice, and that's done. So now we have a taller bottle here, so we're going to have to adjust it. This is why it's good to do the same bottles uh, that are consistent in height at the same time. So we slide down, make sure we're locked, and we are, give it a quick pop. That's done. And what's nice is our height is already set where it needs to be. So we slide our next one in there. Right there. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and bottle all these or cap all the rest of these and then we'll throw them into some boxes. We'll put the little stickers on each on each top, uh, each bottle cap, so we know which batch we have. And uh, today I'm actually getting ready to bottle another batch, uh, which is chocolate stout, which is coming out of a plastic fermenter. So I'll get these bottled. Uh, then I'll wash the next, the next batch of bottles for the chocolate stout, and um, uh, then we'll get going with bottling that and priming it.